It's 6 kilograms lighter than the Spitfire's 4139 chromoly steel chassis. Not only is the 71T a featherweight piece of art that draws a crowd every time we stop during our test, it changes the handling dynamics. The chassis isn't as stiff as a steel frame Spitfire's, thanks to the exotic material's more spring-like properties. But the CCM is still pure, direct, and there's none of the mush you feel riding a built-down-to-a-production bike with heavy components, sound deadening and vibe protection. You sense every tarmac ripple through the suspension and every suck, squeeze, bang and blow from the piston through your body. Forged Ollie 7 spoke 19 inches wheels save another 6 kilograms, which endows the steering with the unbridled directness of a race bike. Its roomy, upright riding position is bang on for the road, with bars placed low enough to weight the front end, but not your wrists. It's racy but still comfy, similar in layout to a KTM 890 Duke R. Wet December roads never let us push the CCM anywhere near its limit, which is a shame, but at wobbling about speeds the handling is crisp, well-balanced and confidence-inspiring, even on its balloon-shaped 130-section Maxxis DTR-1 FT rubber, which would look more at home sideways on a dirt track than tarmac. Brakes are a clear highlight. Twin Brembo monoblocks aren't the best of the best on paper, but they're loaded with the kind of glorious feel and power missing from any road bike fitted with ABS, brushing the front brake lever has the calipers hissing as they munch into the wavy CCM branded Galfer discs to scrub speed off in a flash. Engine Next up, reliability. 4 out of 5. April 5th Like all CCM Spitfires, the 71T is powered by a compact, liquid-cooled single-cylinder motor, originally designed by BMW for Husqvarna. It makes a claimed 50 brake horsepower at the rear wheel, which is around 10% more than the standard Spitfire 6, thanks to revised mapping and an exquisite QR racing titanium exhaust, free from heavy cats and sound-deadening Euro 5 shackles. As much a sculpture that wouldn't look out of place in an art gallery, it's hand-built from 64 individually welded sections. With so little weight to push around its thrappy 50 brake horsepower is devilishly effective and has the urgent, free-revving feel of a competition engine, the clues in the name. But despite the motor's hard edge and explosive soundtrack, it's perfectly fueled, predictable and easy to control, so need for electronic rider aids or modes, although an up-slash-down quickshifter would be nice. It's a single and thrives on its meaty mid-range to thwack out of slow corners, but it'll also rev on to deliver a decent lick of speed, if you can handle the undamped, single-cylinder vibes that crescendo past 6,000 RPM. But that can be viewed as a good thing. The Rush 1000 never intimidates or scrabbles for grip and even when you're going slow the exhaust, quickshifter and auto blipper are still music to the ears, making all the right pops, bangs and crackles. It only does 31 miles per gallon, not that most owners will worry at such thirst. You quickly get used to the way the MV goes serenely about its business and it's only when you need to overtake and have to stamp down a gear, or four, you realize how little grunt there is. In fact, the only time the rush lives up to its name is when you hold the throttle to the stop and when you do, be prepared for the ferocious acceleration of a superbike and the brain-drilling roar of a race engine reliability and build quality. Next up, value. 4 out of 5. April 5th. Build quality, fit, finish and attention to detail are everything you'd expect on a bike costing this much and on our brand new test bike everything works perfectly. But what about long term? Well, MV Augusta have improved reliability since welcoming their new Russian owners and with UK importer Crazy Horse now fully up and running, spare supply shouldn't be a problem. The whole MV range also comes with a 3-year warranty and 2 years roadside assistance. Value versus Rivals Next up, Equipment 3 out of 5 March 5th Whichever way you slice it the Rush 1000 is eye-wateringly expensive to buy and run. In terms of pure performance, it's no better than its super-naked rivals and lacks their real-world grunt, 
but if you've got this amount to spend on a bike and don't won't want something run-of-the-mill or mass-produced the MV will scratch your itch. Equipment 5 out of 5 May 5th It's the same riot of heavily sculpted and detailed luxury as the Brutale 1000 RR with swathes of carbon fiber and machined alley parts, semi-active Olean's forks and rear shock, Brembo Stylema calipers, Pirelli Super Corsa SP tires, MotoGP style wings and a hand-stitched Alcantara style twin pad seat. It also has cornering traction control, 8 levels, and ABS, anti-wheelie, cruise and launch control, for rider modes and a color dash that links to your phone. The Rush 1000 takes the decadence a step further. Your extra 4,800 pounds gets you a round instead of teardrop-shaped headlight with cornering LEDs that fan out around the headlight like a peacock. They strobe when the ignition is switched on and illuminate one by one as the bike leans over. It also has a revised Super Velis-like carbon tail section with a bottom of a beer can rear light and a satin gray paint job with red Batmobile flex. It wears a spoke wheel up front and its forged ollie rear is fitted with a carbon hubcap fixed to the rear wheel spokes. Does it affect stability in sidewinds? No. You also get a race kit SC Project Titanium exhaust and revised fuel mapping, which is a work of art and sounds suitably naughty. The Italian firm also creates the pipes for Marquez's Honda. MV Augusta Brutal 800 RRSCS, 2020, on, review. Our test bike is the most refined, capable and exciting Brute Ale 800 RR we've thrown a leg over. Everything from the power of its brutal Brembos, to the way it rolls beautifully into corners and the riotous din from its three slash cut pipes is feel-good overload. The hard seat is a pain after a few hours and it gets fidgety over bumpy back roads but the MV handles and hangs on like a super sport racer over smooth ground. The Brutale 800 RR has the most visceral auto blipper in biking. Rich, gravelly and mechanical, every burst of power shoots three-cylinder chills through your body as each cog slices precisely home. It's just as tuneful on the way up, with a loud crack through the quick shifter as the revs kiss the red line. The MV's electronic shifters deserve a place in an orchestra, 